So uh, while I'm here in Nairobi, this is my first time in the Nairobi office uh, at Avaco. Here's Luke. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi. And um, I'm here with Sebastian, Sebastian Wafulu. Hi, Mark. Um, so, How are you doing? Yeah, good, thanks. So, Trink Media. Yes. Tell me, tell me a bit about what you guys do. Well, Trink Media is a digital agency that specializes in social media strategy and execution. Uh, we work with uh, corporate clients, uh, SMEs, and uh, public figures. Help them establish a presence online. Uh, so if you need a website, a digital presence on social networks, and just basically social strategy, uh, we help you out with that. But our key competence is showing you how to make money online uh -huh. using your online properties. Yes. Now, Luke told me a bit about you guys that it sort of, it took off that you just discovered you were getting really good at you were really good at this stuff, and it was like, well, why don't we set up a business around it? So tell me a bit more about what you did first that sort of really triggered it. All right, um, where I used to work. Uh, we were helping uh, one of the mobile companies, Safaricom, get uh, more traction in terms of spreading Facebook among the youth. So they ran this competition called uh, The King of Facebook, where I was one of the technical personnel on the ground uh, sorting out how to select a king, what makes a king. So <laughs> after rummaging through the criteria, I found this a really unique individual. Uh, there is OJ John Nobala and uh, Steven Musioka, who both were crowned kings of Facebook uh, by Safaricom. Uh, yeah, and uh, we. What, what was it? What was it that made them the kings? Um, all right, for Steven, Steven actually got around fifty thousand comments on one Facebook post in one day. Whoa! In a span of eight hours, yeah, from nine a.m. to five p.m., he got fifty thousand comments on his Facebook post. Whereas OJ, OJ was voted most popular uh, Facebook personality on a voting platform. He managed to garner 500,000 votes in a single day. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, the social media is exploding in Kenya now, or it has been for a while, hasn't it? Yes, it's, it's been big since 2010. Really? So, I mean, for you, what are the, I mean, what are the platforms that people are using um, face, you've mentioned Facebook. Is, it, is, is Facebook really dominating things here? Uh, yeah, the major platform is Facebook. You have uh, nearly 3 to 4 million Kenyans on it, but active users, they're just over a million. Uh, so it's the most popular social network. It's popular among the youth, especially if you're looking at the age gap between uh, 16 to about 35. Uh, majority of them fall within that age gap. Then uh, for the more mature corporate person, they're on Twitter. So you'll find Twitter having the, the, working, uh, the, work, the working people, or rather, the working class people. Yes. Interesting. Uh, then uh, Pinterest is also starting to grow, yeah. but it's, uh, it's more high-end and niche market uh, social, need, social network. We have LinkedIn for the job seekers. But it's, it's still the established American social networks here, though, aren't there aren't local networks that have really taken off. There are local networks, uh, something like Hive.com. Uh, Hive is spelled W H I V E.com. Yeah. Uh, it's a local social network. Uh, it grew to about, I think, a million users. Uh, but in terms of active, you get between 50 to 60,000 active users. Mm, you'd find that the main problem in growing a social network is that uh, there's no technical capacity to handle such a huge, uh, what do you call it, huge numbers, huge volumes of people because people want to share photos, people want to share videos, yeah. those videos have to sit somewhere. So when you look at the cost analysis of, create, of buying equipment to host videos and photos, it's just yeah. crazy. Like, so, um, and so you're going to be, well we're working with you guys to, to sort of look at ways that we build out our, when we start using social network, tools to raise some awareness around the Akbo Track Day. I mean, we've been using social networking tools for a long time, but I'm going to be really interested to sort of learn a bit more from you about how to engage people here, because I, I, this is a new experience for me, mm -hmm. but um, it's really nice to meet you. I'm looking forward to it. All right, looking forward to it. Thanks, thanks.